Help us get the word around. Please share our videos. What a weekend. This was awesome. What a weekend. And you know what is the best of it all? That I, I'm here. I'm glad that I'm still standing here. That was a big one. You, you, hey man. Oh yeah, no, that uh, relief of you is... Uh, that was a close call. Yes, we had some... Incidents. Well, they were in incidents. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, that was incidents. Make a comment and say who made it and who didn't make it. You can just vote. And later on in the episode, we will show you. We will reveal the yeah. successful hmm? person. Yes. You know, this is why we do it. Capture memory. And hopefully we succeed in showing you places and places you might not be able to come around to see. I mean, there's a lot of people from Cape Town or all over the show that's far that might not be able to get here. Maybe one day they come up, they don't know what to do or where to go. This is what we aim to do, to show you where you can go. But thank you for your support. Thank you very much. In this episode, it's our second day at Rustewinter. Today we will venture to the top of the mountains. We leave camp as the rain starts to subside. It seems like the rain has stopped. Driving on the farm tracks towards the mountain, we go through various puddles of water and falls the patrol with some precious fluid after his fitted madman indicated early warning signs. We cross various farms as we work our way up towards our destination. On the foot of the mountain, the first signs indicate what awaits us. Alrighty, we're about to go up this loose. Most of the stuff here is uh, hard rock, lots of traction. This particular section is loose rock. Yapi, you just used momentum. I'm with the bigger tires, I'm going to try and give it a go at crawling it. We'll see what happens. We reach a section where we opt to investigate our options first. As I climb the rock, I make sure that my thumbs are on the outer rim of the steering wheel. A lot of erosions that happened here, up the mountain. Plenty of rock, loose rock, longer. But if you do the right line here, a little bit of rock slider, working there. And then we're going to take it to the right of the main line. Here we go, here we go. With too little momentum, the 80 grinds to a halt as I'm forced to make a rollback and tackle it with a bit more pressure on the right foot. Then it's Ant's turn. With the patrol's 35s, the tires comes in its own in this section of the track. The ruts have plenty of loose rock and can easily cause unexpected damage. The 
slide of the patrol to the left illustrates the slippery surface as Ant is forced to take a different line than me. Looking back towards the patrol's progress, we can see for the first time how far up we are the mountain. The whole trip so far, we found a solid foundation on the track, and here we got no solid foundation. We've got a lot of loose rock, and it's it's ground, actually ground. So I'm gonna have to. You saw me grinding for a halt here, and it's steep, and I'm going to need to have momentum here. Otherwise, I just get to a stage where you just grind to halt. I'm going to have to put a little bit of foot to the floor. All right, so we'll see how this goes. I take no chances, adding a lot more gas to ensure I maintain adequate momentum up the track. And that uh, rock I told you about, it's a nasty one. You must make sure that you come far in before you turn to your right, eh? Okay, cool. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and just go super slow and crawl and see what happens. If I get stuck and I have to go back and do momentum, then that's cool. Once again, the patrol makes this part of the track looks easy as Ant crawl his way up successfully. So we're halfway up the mountain um, on the Bergroute and we came across this little thing. This is a double locker territory thing, but it looks to me like this is good traction. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm either going to look like an idiot or a superhero. I I'll think it'll be a hero. I'll go for any of those options. Mm. There's just nothing that beats this window. It's spectacular. Uh, what would make it perfect is if we had a bri right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, perfectly. I agree with you. And I'm going to go up that puffy rock over there. Now this is no easy obstacle awaiting Ant here. Peter did indicate locker requirements, but Ant had a look and feels confident as he wants to test out the patrol's ability with the new 35s it's rolling in. Soon it is clear this obstacle needs sharp focus and proper tools to succeed. doing the guiding in front and focus sharply on his hand signal instructions as he prepares for a second attempt. With a lot more power and added momentum, the patrol make it look easy as Ant clears the top. When you get up here, you must, uh, you must keep going straight, don't turn right immediately because there's a, a bit of a dongo here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to keep your left wheel on this line here. So come a little bit sort of around that little boulder that's in the road there and then keep your left wheel up here. Your right wheel will sort itself out. Left wheel on this edge, don't go too far otherwise that's what happened to me. I spun a little bit and then shifted. Confident of me getting to the top, mate. Eh? There's no question you're getting to the top. With 30 ones and the full overland gear fitted to the 80, we are all very curious to see how far the 80 can get on this one. Keep the momentum, keep the momentum a little bit. Stop them. You need to go. Yep, 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 yep. Stop and go back. 
I can get your momentum again. Come as you are, that exact line, and then just watch me. And don't slow down. A little bit this way, a little bit here. You're coming too far this way. You're too far to your driver's side. So as you come off, swing out a little bit, and then come in more square to this rock. Yes, yes. Okay, now turn in. And come this way, this way, this way, this way. This way. With a few different lines tried out, it's time to push it a little more. Okay, on that exact line, just roll backwards straight. I decided that this time I will take no prisoners and I hammer it. After that scare and damage to the front side panel, I take a roll back. You saw this now. I got a rule. And uh, the rule is very simple. If I go up the first time and it went like the fourth time I went here now, where I know that if I roll back wrongly or whatever, it's a roll over, I tell you what, I get out of that situation, I take a safer path. I wouldn't even try the second time, I wouldn't even try the third time, neither the fourth time. And if you do it the other way around, then you're stupid. So I'll be clever today and live another day. You weren't in danger there, but you have got a panel modification. So we'll have a little sign. It says, Rest de Winter was here. <laughs> We're still going up the mountain here. Yeah? I had a nice adrenaline rush on that obstacle, and I made the right call to abort. So, uh, going on here. Yeah? Then I believe there's an obstacle in front called Man of Mace. I've already been the mice here, but I've been the clever mice. Is that me, Rita? Is that it or so than me? On top of Man of Mice, we enjoy the view and investigate the obstacle. I crawl up the incline, and all seem to be fine. And then, as the full overland weight I carry in the cruiser, throws the 80 dangerously to the left. I decide to abort again and not to be stupid. Ant takes a good run at it and makes it look easy. So we just drove up one of Mace here at Vista Winter. Yapi had a little bit of a scare on the on the incline and um, decided to reverse out of the obstacle and take the around route, the bypass route. Sometimes, as a man, it's more difficult to take the bypass route. You've got to put your pride in your pocket and you've got to be aware of your limitations and your vehicle's limitations. My friend Yapi, you're the man. You're the man. I'm well also done. the man because I did the difficult one, but you're the man. Respect, brother. The privilege of doing what we are doing. 
Well, one thing's for sure, if you don't own a 4x4, you will never, ever see the side of this mountain, ever. That's for sure. The moment, the moment you have one yourself, that no one else has. And you also see the difference in the bushveld. Not, it's not the long grass anymore. The trees are not as dense as they are down at the bottom of the mountain. Completely different scenery. We could have been at a, diff a completely different province almost. We reached mountain camp on top where we have lunch and I become clever. You're allowed to carry the coffee. You've got a stove there. So I must get a stove as well, so it's three things. I'm not sure where he's going with this, but I'm actually a little bit nervous. And look, you can have coffee without water, but, but you know, to take too many things, it's uh, not going to work. You must either choose between that or your cup. I'll take this. Okay, if I beat you with the stuff I brought you, okay. and the quantity of stuff, and I enjoy my coffee, yes, it's going to be lucky. Yeah, you're going to steal my coffee. Not at all. I'm ready. Uh, Get my stuff. Yeah, I know. Okay, what I wanted to show you is this is how I use my condensed milk. I wrap it and I put it in my kettle and it doesn't fall out. If it does, it's in the kettle. It's cool. Then you just add coffee. Then add coffee and, and heat it up. Heat it up. There. Or not even add coffee, just drink it out the spout. Oh, that would be nice as well. <laughs> Great idea, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. You know I love condensed milk. I know. Are you man of mice? I'm a mice. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're waffling on, yeah. my little silicon thing is boiled already. Don't it's hot, 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 hot. Okay. How tough is that? Very. Very tough. I've used it many times, so it's a stainless steel. Is and this part of your space saving efforts or what? Yeah, so this goes in the little drawer um, in the back of my car. But there's a drawback on that. So there's a drawback. Drawback, yeah. It's not going to work for me. Oh, why is there? No space for my condensed milk. <laughs> no, you could, no, no, not true. You could actually just pour it straight in there, throw the cock, no. Oh, can't you can't see what goes in. Can't no. go in. No. I would just pour it in. It was a gift. It's interesting. So that's a cool gadget. It was a good little gift. Very convenient. False. Really small. I'd say. After my sweet milky coffee and Anne's versatile kettle in action, we eagerly set off to Leopard Valley on the other side of the mountain. Leopard Valley is one of the scenic destinations on the Rustewinter track and hosts one of the most terrifying obstacles called Superman in the 4x4 community. Hello! It's unbelievable. After the mountain spoke back, it's time for us to cross the top of the valley. Peter walks in front, showing the way as we descending into the valley. This part of the trail is not just scenic, it is excellent fun to drive, as it's very technical and danger lurking everywhere in the form of big rocks and very little room to maneuver. As we cautiously move our way forward, I can only commend Peter's excellent guidance on this trip. What do you call this one, Peter? We're bypassing Superman. Superman? Yeah, the bypass for Superman. I can now understand why this is a guided only trail. Leipzig's Kloof to the edge of the mountain. Now we're coming backwards towards the seriously scary obstacle here at Rustewinter called 
Superman. Um, Which we're, we're not, not going to do. We're not going to do it for the sake of time today. Plus, quite honestly, it's terrifying. My favorite angle, which I don't like, but so far no cities. Yeah. It's a steep uphill climb, winds up the side of the mountain. With, um, a lot of loose rock underneath us here. Very rough. Um, a little bit bouncy, but... Just a little bit. And then we get to a little section here, which is like a little mini mun of mace, I suppose. No, it's not really. It's a, sort of a... Sorry? This is Yapi's favourite. Oh. Yapi hates the sideways. The driving thing where you lean, a car leans like this to the one side. Um, Stopped here at Superman to have a look at it. What the roller of an obstacle that is. So for all the folk that did that already, we told ourselves we will only do that once there's a budget to, to fix the panel damage if we're that lucky. That's a serious scary thing. So let's see the angle. Wow, there we go. Angle is much better now. Now we're busy going down the mountain. I think it's called Le uh, Leipert Valley, Leipert Valley. Peter is here in front of foot. Here we get to a wet patch. I can't really see where I'm going. No clue whatsoever. But um, tricky all over. A lot of rock. Stuff, yeah. Definitely, we're gonna have to look. I think we will come and have a look at this one. Let's go in there on the top and then turn in on a specific time. Very, very closely. Spotting this nicely. So, as we go down the big rock steps, just follow it down. The brilliant little obstacle. We can use this tree here. So, The uh, thing where I need to make a rollback with this long base, wheel base of mine. There we go. Ooh, got a nasty little thing again. Now we've got an ugly rock step here in front, I'll quickly show you. That's what it looked like from the car. This little 
monkey mustard whatever down there let's show you a little bit better yeah we're heading up this way yeah, yeah. and this is where we come from we go So what we're going to do here is Yaki's We've got a little section where we climb up a funny little rock. Yaki's stuck to the right, which is the better line. I'm, uh... Sorry, sorry. Nie veel gelig nie. Ja, hy het nie gelig. So the intention was to get a wheel in the sky for you, the viewer, for your entertainment. <laughs> the trusty patrol. <laughs> it didn't want to lift the wheel. As we near the top, we are starting to run out of time and we consider staying over another night. Anthony and Adele ran out of food and I get to their aid. As you can guess, Anthony got naughty teasing Adele with her favorite food. So, um, I've Same. organized food just by the way. Oh. Yeah, no. With? No, I've organized with Yaki. Oh, okay. No, he already gave it to me, so. Yeah. You got a lack of food for tonight. No, you are kidding. Don't you want. But there's lots of it. Must be. Well, this is a one kilogram packet with a few out. <laughs> you are kidding. <laughs> You want to taste the one from now? No, this is supper. No, I'm not eating that. But you that show you? Them. Yeah. This is what's for supper. Oh, great, thanks. Enjoy it. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't need it. As we travel up the other side of the valley, we get a much smoother ride as we get time to appreciate the scenery around us. As we drive the trail, we look at the dark cloud and we appreciate God's gift to man and our opportunity to enjoy it to the fullest. Driving down the hill, Knowing this adventure nears its end, we maul through this memorable trail. Lover's Lane, various challenging obstacles, the mountain camp, Leopard Valley, just to name a few. Yeah, my pleasure. And, and you are a good guy. That's enough of yeah. that. I love him more than you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, what a privilege. He's Mr. Uh, Winter, RTV <laughs> Club. You have to come here if you own a 4x4 and you like going in the bush. You won't break your car unless you're silly. Yeah, a lot of guys do it for they, when they go on a they send the trip to Namibia, for instance. They bring the guys, the two people with you, fully packed, as they're going to pack for to Namibia. Test. And then they check their vehicles and see, okay, this thing doesn't work. I'm going to get a new place to pack this thing. Don't do major modifications just before the trip. That stands for anything. And if yeah. you do modifications, go out and test it first. Especially things like water supply, yeah. food storage, um, solar and battery charging systems if those don't work and you've got uh, 5,000 rands worth of meat in the freezer that doesn't yeah. work you've lost a lot of money and you're very hungry it was an uh, absolute pleasure this is the fourth time I've been here yeah that's good and I've that's enjoyed good. every single time and I haven't driven the exact same route in the f four times I've been here it's been a different route every variation time variation every time it's a variation of every time get the experience 
Hit the bell icon below this video and please make a comment. In our next episode, we attempt a few hectic obstacles and our vehicles catch fire on two different occasions and then we bry. Subscribe to our channel to stay informed of our adventures. I was t-shirt, ripped jeans, black shades, tattoos, real mean, you were red dress. A lipstick, high heels, with the voice of an angel. I've got tough, you've got glass. I've got rough, you've got, yeah. I got cash, you came free, cause you got a man, but you got.